Evening everyone. Tonight's True Blood was called Trouble. Uh, it started out with uh, with uh, Tara and she is in a bit of trouble. She's hooked up with this fellow Michael and he takes her to see the king. He did last week. But and he had her tied up and she got out of the tie, out of the ropes and ran off and that wolf uh, cooter uh, chased her down, knocked her down turned back into a human, brought her back and then Franklin later on uh, tells her that his intention is to marry her and uh, turn her into a vampire so she's got that kind of trouble going on and Jason Stackhouse, he's uh, met that girl Crystal again, the one that he saw at that at the uh, robbery or not the robbery where they were making Crystal meth, and uh, he's kind of had a couple. Of, he's having a date with her, and we know from the premieres and all that stuff that uh, she's a werewolf. So that's what's going on with Jason. Now Eric shows up at the king of uh, uh, Mississippi's place, Russell Hedgington, I think his name is. And uh, he's there to try and blame Bill for selling the V. And of course Bill's there and after he's told all this to the king, the Bill comes from behind the wall there and says, yeah, I, I figured you'd show up and try this. And it was the Queen who's got Eric selling the V. Everyone knows that. So uh, he's in trouble in that area. He also gets, uh, the King kind of quite doesn't believe him because the material said uh, my, uh, that uh, Michael brought him are uh, where he's looking up the stack house where Bill has been looking up stack house lineage and stuff like that and uh, he uh, he attacks Cooter. Cooter comes into his room and he attacks him and he knocks out one of the guards and he takes off. Well then uh, very surprising thing happens uh, but also Lafayette is hooked up with his mother's uh, keeper from the, from the uh, hospice there so they're having some sort of a love affair thing going on there for lots and Sam he's uh, kind of taking care of his parents and his brother and all that stuff but beyond that Eric has gone on a tour of the house of Russell Hedgington and uh, found this crown it was a Viking crown and it brings him back his, his memory back of when this crown was stolen and it was stolen by uh, the werewolves and uh, he uh, fends off the werewolves and uh, one of them grabs the crown in his mouth uh, the wolf and is going out the door and uh, it's obvious the, the vampire from ages back when Eric was a Viking before he was a, a vampire uh, is the, the Viking standing in the doorway right outside the doorway is Russell and tells him uh, don't, you know don't try to be a hero and he walks off well, then it goes back to where Sookie's been hanging out with this fellow, the werewolf that's taking care of her and stuff, and Bill's there in the apartment. And uh, Bill's telling Sookie, you've got to get out of town. And this is like the end of the show. And uh, the door opens. There's Cooter, another werewolf. And Russell, the King Vampire of Mississippi. Now the Cooter goes after Sookie, 
and uh, she lays a hand on his face, and she, one of those lightning bolts that she laid on Mary Ann last year came flying out of her hand and knocked Scooter right across the room. And this gives the king a good laugh, and that's how the, the show ends up. So we really don't know what, what Sookie's power is, you know. She's, yeah, obviously, you know, Sookie's going to be a mainstay, and Eric's going to be a mainstay, and Bill's going to be a mainstay. You know, all the other characters are up for grabs. I'll thank you all for your participation. I hope it didn't go too long, and I hope you all get to see the show uh, during the week, and they run it over and over again. And uh, I'm glad, well, I'm, I'm doing a few extra days on the boat. That's why I'm back uh, four days early. So I'll be doing three uh, True Bloods from the boat. And then I'll be back, back home for a full tour at home. And I'll catch you later. Have a lovely night. I'll catch you back, Colin, too.